I have a package! Hello everybody, it is me again. My name is Maddie. I am Stitch by Stitch Crochet and I'm doing my very first yarn unboxing haul thing. So I placed an order with... I'm gonna look up how to say it because I don't want to sound like an idiot. The majority of people that I saw in that video pronounced it Hobie. And I think those people are from the country where this brand is from. Also, I saw a Made in the Moment video where they were sponsored by Hobie and that's how they pronounced it. And you'd think that if they were sponsored, they would pronounce it correctly. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go with. A few vlogs ago, I was talking about how my sister-in-law had placed a commission with me for a couple of floral bookmarks. I said that she wanted three. That has since changed. She now wants four because she started reading another book. And I started working on that project in that vlog with the full intention of just getting them all done that day. But I didn't like the yarn that I was using. I didn't like that I was using acrylic. I didn't like that I was using four weight. I thought that a three weight cotton would just look way better. And I think that's actually what the pattern called for. Um, but I didn't have any and I was really skeptical about buying like a nice package of yarn because I've never really done that before. I'm not really much of an online yarn, sh yarn shopper, um, but I will if I need it for like specific projects, which I did. Um, so I went ahead and I took the leap and I got a bunch of colors. So I'm gonna open it and do like a little first impressions unboxing type thing. I'm really, really excited. And then I'm gonna actually be able to start working on the bookmarks and then do like maybe a little review of the yarn, see how I like it. I think this is a pretty popular yarn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it because I have been waiting so long. I've had this package for about a week and I was really good and I didn't open it because I wanted to film opening it. I'm just gonna grab the one that's on top. <gasps> wow! This, okay. I didn't read how many grams came in each skein. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but that is, you know, that's totally fine. I don't need very much to make the bookmarks. Wow, I'm so excited to use this. I'm so excited to use this. I, wow. This looks so nice. I always see Erin B doing this when she, does like a yarn haul. She like does this so you can see how thin it is. Wow, look at that. Soft. And just based off of the way that the skein feels, it feels pretty plushy, like it doesn't feel very stiff. So this is the Rainbow Deluxe yarn. It is 100% Turkish cotton, so Here's the first color. I got mostly uh, like colors. I didn't get very many neutrals. I think I got a few neutrals just for like the stems and the center of flowers, but I really just wanted to go full out on the color spectrum just because I use a lot of colors in my, in my stuff. Uh, let's see, let's go through the colors. This is the color. 68. I don't, oh, do they not have names? The colors. That's boring. 68. Oh, and then, ooh, this one is a nice, rich, deep brown. Almost kind of looks black on camera, but it's this really rich, warm brown that I'm excited to use. I think I got this one because I wanted to make a few sunflower bookmarks and this is for the center of those. Wow, this just feels so nice. This feels so nice. I'm so excited to work with this. Oh, and this is the color nine. Woohoo! Corally pink. Nice corally pink. Wow, that's so nice. Next, oh, this is color 58. Ooh, this one, okay. This one I'm super excited to use because my sister-in-law, she said that mauve is her favorite color, so I got this one specifically for her. I hope this is mauve. Color 52. Ooh, nice, nice rusty burnt orange. 
gonna be perfect for fall. I might have to make some, I might have to make another order of these depending on how I like it because this is just such a nice color. This would be perfect for fall. Pumpkins, fall themed bandanas or coasters or just like, like a mesh top or anything like that. This is the color 47. Ooh, nice, nice teal blue. Color number 30. Yellow, my favorite color. Color 44. And then I got kind of like a sage green. I got two greens. I got a sage green and like a darker green. This is the color 39. Here's this darker green. And the color 37. This is more like a true forest green, Christmas green, St. Patty's green. This is more of a Evelyn Hugo green, if you've read that book. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. This is, I think, supposed to be purple, but I think it's kind of giving indigo a little bit. It's very blue purple. Oh yeah, look at that on camera. It looks totally blue on camera. No, yeah, this was for sure supposed to be a dark purple. Because I remember when I placed the order, I was filming a video and I said, I want a dark purple and a light purple. And then I added in a blue because I didn't have a blue, but I'm pretty sure the blue that I added was this one. And this one was supposed to be the purple. On camera, it looks blue. But in person, it looks more purple, but it still isn't super purple. It's definitely a bluer purple. Like I said, it's giving really indigo, which that's fine with me. Color is color. This is the color 20, and that is all. 10 little skeins. How many, how many grams are in each little skein here? 50 grams. Yeah. Let me, let me get them all together so I can make a cute ass thumbnail. So here is my little pile. I'm so excited to use these. I am so excited. And I think I got these while they were on sale. I don't know how much they normally are a ball. I probably like three or four dollars, but I think I got them for a little over two dollars a skein. Um, so I think the whole order including shipping was like, it was like $26 or something like that. Ooh, it's 11 11 make a wish I kind of really want to make a bookmark I kind of really want to make a bookmark and just see how the colors work up um, now in the pattern that I was following a couple of vlogs ago when I started this project initially I remember reading in the pattern that it called for a five millimeter hook despite only calling for a three weight yarn which this supposedly isn't. But I'm gonna say that it is despite what it says on the label. Now, however, the flower that I made ended up being a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to using a five millimeter hook and a four weight yarn. In my mind, just because I sized down the yarn, if the hook size is the same, I think that the project is gonna be the same size as it, as it was when I used a four weight, even if I use a smaller hook size. I mean, a smaller yarn size because the hook size is the same. You know, hypothetically, it shouldn't matter what yarn you're using, as long as you're using the same hook, the project will turn out more or less the same, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So by that logic, I should also size down my hook if I'm going to use this, if I want my flower to be a little smaller than how I had it before. I think I'm going to go with my trusty 4.25. I've really been liking my 4.25. I've been using my 4.25 a lot recently because that's the hook size that I use to make my sunglasses cases. It's going to be a little looser because the hook size on this the hook size on the label calls for a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter, but that's 
to have like an average tensioned gauge. If I have it a little looser, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna start. I wanna start on a bookmark because I wanted to include like a little review of the yarn. I, th I think I'm gonna love it. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with it. But just for funsies, uh, I wanted to whip up at least a couple of bookmarks. Um, it is 11.15 and it is Tuesday, which means I have knitting club, which means I have at least two hours of craft time today. But I'm also not working today and I have a mostly clean house because I cleaned yesterday so but the thing about having a clean house is that I've gotten into the routine so much of okay you get up and you relax on your phone a little bit and then you get ready and then you, you, you clean the house and then you can crochet or whatever usually I end up doing my work first because I just never have the motivation to clean in the morning. So I'll do like my crochet or work on my videos for a few hours in the morning and then I'll have lunch. And then basically from lunch, I'll, I'll spend a few hours cleaning. And usually I'll clean until my husband gets home from work and then I'll start dinner. But if I have my house cleaned already and it takes me like less than an hour to clean my house that day, my anxiety tells me you need to be cleaning because that's the routine. But if I've gotten ahead on my cleaning, there's not anything to clean. It, but instead of utilizing that extra time that I've given myself by being good and cleaning and getting ahead on cleaning, I just have anxiety that I'm not cleaning because everything is already clean and I end up doing nothing instead of being productive. So I just, it's kind of a lose-lose. <laughs> So I have my 4.2, oh, what, you didn't want to be in the video with me anymore? <laughs> so I have my 4.25 millimeter hook. For those of you who, who use um, letter sizes, it's a size G and it's a number six, which I think that is really confusing because then you have to memorize what that means. 4.25 millimeters, no matter where you're from, what language you speak, or what country you're from, is always gonna be 4.25 millimeters because that is a measurement. That's, it's not like, a, you know what I mean? So I just prefer to use the millimeter sizing because that will never change, you know, ever. 4.25 is always 4.25. Doesn't matter what letter it is or what number it is, the size is that size because of numbers and sizing. So I've got my hook, and these are the three colors that I decided to use for the first bookmark. Um, the sage green, the yellow, and the mauve pink. Um, oh, let me pull up my pattern. Let me... Okay, so the first bookmark that I'm going to make is a free pattern that I found on Pinterest. It is the Summer Flower Bookmark by thestitchinmommy.com. I will link it in the description below. This is the pattern that I started in that one vlog and I didn't like the way that it looked so hopefully the new yarn will look way better because I 100% am not blaming the pattern. The photo in the pattern looks really beautiful and that's what I want my bookmark to look like just with different colors. I really am blaming the yarn. I'm sure the pattern is just fine. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start off with the yellow. And, oh look at that, it's got a nice sticker in the middle for an easy start center pull. That's even what it says on the sticker. If it would focus, easy start. I have not worked with yarn this small in a hot minute, so it is taking a second to get used to. I'm actually kind of mad a little bit that I typed in weight three cotton yarn into the Hobie app and this is what came up and I bought it. And it says 
it's a fine weight or a super fine it says on the label super fine and I mean we'll see how it turns out but like this is like the same thickness as my sock yarn which is thin I used 2.75 millimeter hook I mean needles for those when I started that sock that I didn't finish <laughs> I also really want to try to get better at talking and crocheting because then I could be getting two things done at once you guys ever watch that clip of Link from Good Mythical Morning trying to talk while cutting that gummy bear sandwich or that gummy worm sandwich that's me <laughs> Okay, dokie. Here is the center. Here's the center of our flower. It's it's definitely smaller. It's definitely smaller than the center of flower that I had before. Okay, so I charged my camera for a few minutes, which means I did not get a time lapse of me finishing this flower. I still have the petals to do. So, and I also haven't weaved in the ends yet, so ignore those. But here it is, so far. Uh, it's, I'm kind of having a hard time getting it to lay flat. There, what do we think? I think, I mean, comparatively, when I held it up to my head, it was like big enough to be a, like a hair thing, which actually, that would be really cute. Doing that again. Holding it up to as like a hair thing. That would be cute. Anyway. So here it is so far. I think it's turning out way better than... I think it's turning out way better than it was when I used acrylic yarn. So I'm going to make the um, stem now. And after this, um, after I finish this flower, I'm going to end the vlog because I'm going to ha have to make some lunch and then I'm going to go to knitting club. I just wanted to um, work with the yarn at least a little bit in this video. In the same video that I unboxed the yarn in. So this is 41, from here to here, it's kind of hard to see. From here to here is 41, I think I'm gonna do a few extra just cause she told me that she wanted hers a little bit longer. A little rough right now just because I haven't weaved in the ends obviously I don't really feel like weaving in the ends right now to be honest I want to have lunch and go to my knitting club so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this here cute I think this is really cute and I think once I weave in the ends um, I think it's gonna look even cuter I'm gonna secure the stem to the flower a little better with when I weave in my ends I'm just gonna kind of sew it on there a little bit more securely um, but other than that I'm really happy with how it turned out um, the yarn was a little bit more on the fine side than I thought I was gonna get when I placed my order but it ended up turning out all right I think let me know what you think okay well that is the video that's the video for today thank you so much for watching um i had a really fun time filming this i just am so excited this was my first order from hobie this was my first yarn unhaul box unboxing whatever and i liked the yarn it's a little bit more it's a little bit thinner than i thought it was gonna be but 
it all worked out in the end. Um, I am so excited to make more bookmarks. Um, the, the pattern for the bookmark that I made today, I'm gonna have linked in the description. It's by thestitchinmommy.com. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz if you'd like. Stay tuned for more videos and all that other stuff that you're supposed to say at the end of videos. I'll see you later.